What's up everybody, what I got here now is a Dell Inspiron N4050 laptop. This laptop is currently 5 years old and it takes about 2 minutes to start up. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can turn this old computer into a crazy fast ultrabook like machine. So without further ado, let's go ahead and pop the hood. Now, before we actually touch anything inside the laptop, make sure the power is unplugged and the battery is removed so that we won't short anything by accident. Now let's start to take out the screws. There are 8 screws in the back that we need to remove. I recommend using a magnetic screwdriver, well if you don't have one that's okay. You can simply attach a magnet to it. All the screws that are holding the panels are actually the same size for the screws, so don't worry about mixing them up. I really like the idea of using standard Phillips screws without any strong adhesives, which makes it really easy to take them out. So thumbs up for the old times. Now let's remove the keyboard. To remove the keyboard, simply take a flathead screwdriver to push the latch back and pry the keyboard upward. Take your time to do the first latch as it may be a little tricky to get the keyboard up. When you finish the first one, repeat the same step for the remaining three. All the latches left should be pretty easy to undo. Don't rush to pull the keyboard out when you get it loose. Flip the keyboard and remove the connection to the motherboard. Now the keyboard should come right out. There are still two more connections between the palm rest and the motherboard. Pull the black plastic piece upward and pull the blue connectors out. Now let's remove the last few screws. There are three smaller screws holding the palm rest. After remove all the three, I also remove the disk drive. Well, this step is not required, but it can give us a better grip when we pull the palm rest out. Be sure to sort the screws correctly as they are not interchangeable with the screws we just removed from the back. With all the screws removed, take a prying tool gently pry around the edge. When the connections are loose, pull the palm rest up a little bit and pull it out. I added extra 4GB of RAM to this computer because I think the current 2GB of RAM is a little too small for the 64-bit version of Windows 10 I'm gonna install. This step is optional depending on your machine and operating system you are running on. Now simply pull the hard drive back and it should come right out. In Inspiron N4050, we need to move the metal bracket to the new SSD that we're going to put in. This step may not be the same for other machines, as other manufacturers will have different ways of securing the hard drive. We finished the upgrade and now we just need to put everything back together.
thanks for watching and if you have any questions or comments just leave it down below and I'll try to answer them as quick as possible.